and uh, just published an absolutely brilliant piece for the Beast about how this, uh, in fact, I was talking about it in the first hour of the program, a MAGA plot, this is the headline, a MAGA gang plots to murder Muslims in Islamburg after Fox fans fear, uh, fans uh, fear in, and flames. Uh, Dean, welcome back to the program. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for having me back on. I appreciate it. So tell us what's going on here, and, and, and in, the, in the largest context possible, why would a billionaire-funded television network work for years? I mean, you track this back to, as I recall, like 2007, work yeah. for years to cause Americans to hate each other. Well, in this specific case, I mean, in general, I, I assume the, you know, the bias is, of course, to ratings. It's about profits. And in their view, that made the most sense to get more people to, to tune in and say, it's us against them, and here's the them. Let's watch our channel and only hear from us. In the case of Muslims, I think they made that same calculation that painting Muslims as the other and scary which wasn't that hard of a sell at the time when there was terrorism going on more commonly, that we're going to do that. We're going to make you afraid of Muslims. And specifically, they did a lot with Islamburg, which is about two hours from New York City. It's a community started in 1980 by primarily African-American Muslims who wanted to leave New York City to live a quiet life uh, up in the forest areas, in a way, the wooded area of Islamburg, but it's completely developed where they live, in houses and homes and a mosque, and it's close to another town. Uh, but unfortunately for them, Fox News made a decision in 2007 to paint them as a terrorist training camp and continued in articles and on air telling their viewers that this is a terrorist training camp. Well, it was for, for Fox, it was the jackpot. I mean, it was Muslims yeah. and they're black people. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. What, what, what do they just like more? It's hard to say. But right. this is the world that this community has lived through. And, so, you know, so what's the consequence many, of this, Ben? I'm sorry? What's the consequence of Fox's uh, demonization of them, Ben? Well, various things. I mean, the newest thing is the story I wrote about was the terrorist plot uncovered early this week in a town called Greece, New York, where it's about three and a half hours from Islamburg. But these young guys, three young guys and one 16-year-old teenager, were plotting to commit a terrorist attack on Islamburg and apparently to kill them. That's what the chief of police said. He said, you know, there's no doubt about it. They carried out this plot. They were going, people were going to die. That's was his words about it. They, and the police recovered Jason jar, uh, J mason jars filled with projectiles, like BBs and other items that, if detonated the way it was planned, it was an IED, would have killed people. And well, before that, there was... 23 a, guns. And before that, there was Robert Doggett. Robert Doggett from Tennessee was recruiting other people. Robert Dog Doggett is an extremist... Christian minister. I hate to even say he's Christian, but in his view he is. He, he was doing himself. this for God. And he's 63 years old, so it's a complete divide in generation, who believed that Islamburg was a place for terrorists. He plotted and had guns, explosives, even a machete, he said, to cut them to shreds. Thankfully, the FBI uncovered that, and he was arrested, prosecuted, and last year sentenced to 20 years in prison. So these are not Taunts, Jeez. shades of Rwanda plots. They get no media coverage almost whatsoever, frankly. I mean, this this reminds me of the Rwandan genocide that was whipped up by by talk radio. Well, you know, it's go hate those guys. I mean, the, has Fox has Fox evidenced any uh, any willingness to take responsibility for this? Of course not. This is Fox News, and you know, of the four that were just arrested, one was, and we know just about one right now from his social media posting was a big Trump supporter. Yeah. He invited Trump to when he was getting his Eagle Scout award. He invited Trump to that via Twitter, of course, not personally, but he, in his room he had Confederate flags. He ranted about Muslims, saying he wanted to kill them, even their children, saying the Quran tells them to kill us, so they're all guilty. Uh, he is a big MAGA guy, and, you know, I, I don't know, you can direct line between Trump and these kids, perhaps, perhaps not, but you can say definitely that Donald Trump is a man who called for a total complete shutdown on Muslims, who during his campaign did his best to demonize and gin up fear of Muslims, saying we knew where the, the Muslim terrorists are hiding, um, continued to say that the family members of any terrorist knew what was involved in the terrorism, and they should be killed as well. So it's not a vacuum. And there are other incidences that have happened with terrorists who have plotted to kill Muslims. But the reality is in America, our media, if a Muslim is a suspect, it gets a great deal of coverage. If the Muslim is the target, the media doesn't cover it. And that's not just my view. The Institute for Social Policy and Understanding quantified this. They went through media coverage over years and big print publications. 
like the Washington Post, the New York Times, not even Fox News, in more mainstream media. And they found if the suspect was a Muslim, it got eight times the coverage of a non-Muslim in a foil terrorist plot. I don't even mean one that actually happened, because some might say, well, the Muslims were able to kill people. That was a bigger story. We're talking about foil terrorist plots, because even in mainstream media, not even Fox News, these stories get clicks. They yeah, get and, and, and when the terrorists are white guys and who have nope. been guilty of the majority of, of terrorist murders in the United States in the last 30 years, when the terrorists are white guys, nah, not so much. Exactly. Amazing. New report ADL came out yesterday, 50 extremist murders last year, and every one except for one tied to right-wing extremists. There's a new yeah. report yesterday from the ADL. Absolutely amazing. Dean Obadala, host of the Dean Obadala.